Okay, this is a continuation on, on a little demo on how to use Word 2007 mail merge feature to populate a sheet of address labels, possibly for printing, printing Christmas card labels. My problem is I have trouble remembering from year to year how, how to do this, so I'm making this video for my memory jog a year from now, and I hope that you might find it helpful as well. In this case, we're going to assume that I already have created a database with some addresses in it from the previous year and now it's a new year and I want to create print these labels but I have some additions or subtractions maybe some address changes to make so I will open that that file which is resides on my desktop you'd have to find it this in your computer I hope you saved it somewhere that you can remember where to find it a year from now so we're going to just double click on the address list and click right there and there's our address list. Now this is a bogus address list. Of course it's a bunch of names, bogus names and addresses, but I'm just using this for a demo. Now at this point you can add new names if you got some Christmas cards last year and you didn't have those people in your list and you want to add them to your list. You can go right down here and you can type Jane Jones and she lives on 456 Oak Street any town Kentucky and her zip code 12345 okay and you see once I've done that it gives me another blank line if I need to keep adding names I can add more names if I if one of these names is got an incorrect address if Mr. Smith has moved I can highlight the one that I need to change and then I can make corrections or or I can delete an entire line if that person's off my list for some reason I can delete them okay once I've made all the changes and I have the address list you can sort these by first name or by last name if you want to click on one of these boxes it will alphabetize them for you if that makes finding your your address list and editing it easier you can alphabetize them with by clicking this button right there okay be sure and save your file after you've made changes okay now we're going to close this file and we're going to open word for windows 2007 we're going to go up to the top of the page and click on mailings start mail merge we want to print some labels so we click the labels line that opens a window. Here's a standard Avery label number 8160. This is for a sheet that has 30 labels on it. They're three wide and 10 tall and this is a normal size label. Yours might be different but a lot of them are going to be this size. This is the size I use and you can see right here it gives the height of the label one inch. The width is 2.63 and it's an eight and a half by 11 sheet of labels. We click OK. Now the next thing we need to do is select recipients. So we click that button and it says use an existing list or type a new list. We're going, in my case, we're going to use an existing list which we have created previously. And Click there. Now we have to find that list. So I know that it's on the desktop. Double click on the desktop and then I should be able to go, scroll down here and find that list there it is demo address list double click that and it opens now doesn't look like much has happened right here the next thing we need to do is to edit the recipient list now this sounds to me like at this point I could click that button and make changes to addresses as in edit the list wrong this is where word is confusing all we're going to do is choose the names that we wish to include in our print list so we click edit the recipient list there's our list now we can click this checkbox and we can select everybody on the list or if you are just printing a, a few labels if you somehow just need to reprint one or two labels you can uncheck that and you can go down the list and just check the one that you want to print and, and click OK in our case we're going to use the whole list so we'll check the box at the top and say OK now the next thing we need to do is go over here and insert the merge fields 
Note that the fields we want to insert are listed right here. These come right off of our address list. If in your case you might have included email addresses and phone numbers and even work addresses, in that case you probably would want to skip those. We want to include the first name, the last name, one address line, the city, the state, and the zip code. Okay and we say close. Now don't worry what this looks like, we're going to fix that right now. In between the first and the last name we need a, a space, so I'm going to click the cursor right there and hit the space bar and add a space. I, knew, I know that the address line needs to go on the next line, so I'm going to click right there in between those name and address and I'm going to hit the enter key and puts that down on a second line. Then I know that the city, state, and zip needs to be on the third line, so I'm going to click right there in between the address and the city and I'm going to hit enter and put it down on the third line. Now another thing, don't forget you need a space in between the city and the state and you need a space in between the zip code. Now we're ready for the next step. At this point we're going to go up here and we're going to click update the labels. Now you see it has taken this information that we put in the first box the fields that we're going to use and it's put them in all the other boxes. Don't worry that the other boxes don't look like the first one, we're still alright. Now we want to click this button, preview the results. When we click that, we can see that it has put our names in our address label sheet. Now my names are mostly the same, but yours obviously would be different, but we're just using this for demonstration purposes and there they are. Now the next thing you want to do is click finish and merge. Oh, by the way, while we're looking at the preview results, if you have more than 30 names and addresses, it will be multiple sheets, but you can only see the first page at this point. On the preview button, you can only see the first page. So don't worry if you have more labels on other pages. We're just looking at these for right now. The next thing you want to click on is finish and merge. When you click that, you want to choose the top one, edit the individual documents. Click that. You want to merge all records, say OK. Now, this is a printer ready page. And in fact, if there are more than one page, you could scroll down and see the other pages. In our case, it's just one page full. But if there were two or three pages, or a page in a piece, you could scroll down and see them at this point. All right, this document is now ready to print. I would choose to print, the, choose the office button, then go down and choose print, point it to your printer, and I would print this, if I were you, I would print this on a, a sheet of plain paper. And the reason why is you don't know for sure that these are going to be properly aligned and plain paper is a lot cheaper than gummed peel and stick address labels. So I always print a, sh a test sheet and then I can take that test sheet and I can lay it over the face of a sheet of labels and hold that up to the light and if, you, if you've got a good strong light you can see through and see the label outlines behind the sheet and you can tell that your names are falling on the address labels where you need them to be. Okay, so now you're able to print. Now you can save this document if you care to. In my case, I'm just going to use the database again next year. So I'm done. I'm going to close Word. Okay, now you should know how to use Microsoft Word 2007 Mail Merge to create a list of printable mail labels. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope that you and I are both able to do this successfully a year from now next Christmas. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.